This is amazing. I can see you, I can hear you, and I'm currently in Los Angeles. Tonight we're running the world's first holographic event at, at a university. Thank you so much. It's incredible that I'm here as a hologram. We're running an event called Women in Tech. And because the theme is, is tech, we're going to use tech. So we're pioneering this new hologram technology. And we're going to have speakers um, beaming in from LA and from New York via hologram to participate in our event here. I want you to know with certainty that if you want to be part of the tech world, then you should be. The people appearing as holograms will be able to see the audience, take questions from the audience and interact with them as if they were really there. Knowing that the venture capital space can be like a boys club, can you give us some tips on how you successfully secured funding? Making sure you really understand the person that you're talking to and why they should invest in your business. To have the kind of 3D effect of being able to speak to somebody, being able to interact with somebody, pretty amazing experience. As the business school of Imperial College, we need to be shaping the frontier of how technology is used in business. We pioneered with our EdTech lab digital education in general, and so the hologram is uh, another innovation that has now gotten to a stage of development as a technology that we can really uh, deploy as part of our educational mission. We bring in the you know, internet-based technologies, hologram-based technologies, in order to enhance the learning experience of our students. I was amazed. I couldn't expect like that level of engagement. I feel like this is Imperial 3.0, because if you look at the campus and our classes, they're super diverse. There's people from all different walks of life. But with this technology, you're basically expanding your reach and bringing in presence from people globally. I'm really excited to see what kind of opportunities come out of this gap that's been closed. But it felt exciting because as I was sitting up there and moderating, you could really see, oh, this is different. This is just us having a conversation and the technology has enabled us to have that in a really meaningful way.